So that's done. So the next step would be adding a geometry frame next to my dimension, which is going to be perpendicularity on that slot. So I'm going to pick geometric tolerance. So right away, it will pop up the frame from my previous creation. So I'm just going to select the reference. So right here, I can just use a leader line to place the frame. As you can see how the leader line pops up when I directly select the surface. Or I can just use the dimension as a reference. I wanted to place it underneath my dimension. So I'm just going to click it there. So once I click, it just pop, pops up my uh, GDNT frame right under the dim dimension. So the next step here is to start by editing the existing GDNT that I created. So the first thing, as I said before, it's going to be my reference. The reference will be empty in this case because I placed the GDNT frame right under the dimension and I didn't pick any features for references. So let me go ahead and select the features, which is the surface and the other one. Control. Make sure you control select because once you do a control, you can see how there is a small plus sign that pops up next to your arrow. So you just need to click that and you see those two features getting added to their reference dialog. So that's OK. Again, I need to go ahead and change my uh, type to perpendicularity. I'm OK with the value. I mean, let's just give it a point 0.1 this time. And oops, so I went back with, with, before completing. So I just, so OK, that's one good thing. So now if you just accidentally click back without completing, you just need to click that on again, and it's back up. Did you double click it or just click it? Just click it. Okay. Yeah. So now from here, so I need to pick the datum references. So you can do two things. You can just go ahead and directly add, type in the datum label, or you can select from the graphics. So I can show you both. For now, I'll just select it from the graphics. Let me pick the symbol which says, which pops up, select reference dialog again. Now I go ahead and select the datum A. So that gets added to the reference, and I hit OK, and the datum is there. So there's a small glitch, which is just, it didn't pick it first. So let me just click it there and come back. So see, it's fine. All right. So that's the perpendicularity done. And I, as I did, I finished the reference creation. I changed my type. I assigned a torrents value. And everything looks good now. So I'm just going to do a left click in the graphics. So that's there now. So similarly, now I need to do the datum C, which is going to be the other slot here. So same procedure. It's starting from dimension. Make sure that you select a surface. Click on that. Control. Select the other surface, which pops the dimension. Middle mouse click to put it in the graphics. Reference will be already selected, so I can skip that step. And I'm going to go ahead and change the value to again 0.8 this time. And yeah, everything else looks good, so I'm just going to click, and that's there. Similarly, the same step, going to do the perpendicularity for this slot. So I'm going to pick that dimension, which directly places my frame right under the dimension. The next step would be selecting the references, the features for the references. So select that, control, and select that. So OK. So once that's there, the type looks good, 0.1, fine. And this time, I'll just type in the value. Oh, that's I forgot to do yeah. my datum B. <laughs> OK, that's I any. Was, I was going to let it go. It looks like Creo will let you create <laughs> anything you want no. at first. And then, you know. Oh, well, well, that's a good point. So now you can actually go ahead and create anything you want. Um, I can show you. But you see the difference here. The P is in black and the A is in green. So which tells the user that the B is not an actual datum and it's not created yet. Excellent. So I can now go back. I can keep it there. It doesn't matter. I can select the datum B, sim I mean, datum feature symbol under annotation, which again, as it did before, it just pops up the symbol. So now I need to select the reference. So I can go ahead and pick this leader line here which automatically places the feature symbol. Again, middle mouse click, it's there. So now, as we created this datum outside the annotation feature, we should, in this case, we need to select the references. So the same thing, yeah. So you go here and 
which will be my that one and this feature. Click OK. So that's reference done. The label looks good, so everything is fine. And now I'm going to left click and it's done. So now after I create a beat, now I need to go back to here and you can see how the beat yeah. turned back to green, which is now B is a proper datum feature symbol. So uh, I think I've completed everything else in this feature frame. So I'm good with that. I'm going to left click and it's done. So again, the next thing would be selecting C. So I'm just, I'm sorry, creating C. So I'm going to pick datum feature symbol again here. And I'm going to come back to this line, which is my dimension line. I'm going to place that and middle mouse click. It's there. So again, reference, go ahead, pick the features. And OK. And left click, it's done.